I was reflecting on, on what the goals actually stand for. You know, 17 things is just too many things to summarize. And to me, uh, there are a set of goals that really make the point that by 2030, people shouldn't have to live in pure subsistence poverty and all of the violence, insecurity, uh, violation of human rights, and deprivation that that comes with. Uh, embedded in the goals is also this notion that as we build a global economy together, it needs to be inclusive of communities left behind and women in particular. Uh, and, and the indicators really do ask for that, countries to report on that. Uh, and then, you know, uh, there are four or five goals that are fundamentally about climate and climate action, uh, broadly defined. And so, to me, those basic concepts, the dignity of every person, inclusive economies that uh, recognize that if people are left behind, we cannot go forward and build a productive global economy, and our climate represents an existential threat that we have to deal with. And I know Hans is off next to the climate summit. Yeah. Th those are more important today than they were when the goals were ratified. Mm -hmm. yeah. And I think four million young people in the streets last week illustrate that people get it instinctively. Personally, I, I find 17 goals too hard to conceptualize and communicate. And uh, you know, I think we probably ought to rethink how we talk about them, because these are not about solving poverty in lower income countries. That's not what the goals are about. They are specifically about every country really tethering themselves against those three objectives. And the, you know, the lack of political leadership we see today uh, to achieve the goals, the walking away from multilateral institutions, the undermining of alliances uh, that sort of defines our uh, our politics these days uh, is, in my view, all driven by the reality of those three mm -hmm. concepts. And so we need the goals now more than ever. We need companies and philanthropies and governments to do more now uh, than they ever have before. And it's precisely in that moment where we're having this big retrenchment at the political level that's going to make it very, very, very hard to actually achieve the goals. Thanks for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe for more videos from Brookings.